Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com, bringing you new, blah, 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 bringing you uh, another classic. I've got some more free blues lessons, even licks that you can use right in this uh, style. You can click the link below to check that out. But let's zoom in. I'm going to show you some cool blues rock kind of tricks and ideas, and I think we'll have fun doing it. So come with me. All right, so I'm kind of teaching off the clap to. Clapton version, which is in the key of C, and the original J.J. Kale, uh, his version's in D, and it's like way more mellow. But the basic structure is the same. Uh, check this out. No, don't check it out. Oh, now check it out. <laughs> Just making sure everything's in tune here. So you basically got a C bar chord here. Uh, you know, the root is right there on the eighth fret. So we're going to, I'm going to show you the power chord thing first. So I'm starting on the C power chord, which is 8, 10. Then I go next door. Everything's, you know, kind of being muted except for... step a string and D string there so you got that's a really good way to play it if you're especially if you're playing it by yourself with no band or no bass player but you know a bass player if the bass player is going you know really not that important that you get those bass notes in anymore because the bass is holding it down. So you could do And so I'm just doing like a C bar chord. You could do a C7. And I'm just doing this little cluster here of the 10th fret with my ring finger. And then the same thing, a whole step down with my index. So you got 10 to 8, you know. You know, the classic. So you know, another, you know. Once the singing comes in, you can still do that riff, like, but but it immediately goes to these other chords. Watch. After midnight, uh, let's see. So I'm going, kind of getting that ring finger onto the root there. So it's like. Then I'm going to the full bar chord version of this. It's called E flat major. It's the same thing we were doing with our index right here, but now we have a bass note in there. So it's like, uh, you know, six, eight, eight, eight. And then up a whole step. So watch. So from the top of the verse.
so all power chords as well. Next door. That's just the one, four, five. Nothing fancy about that at all. You know, full bar chords, power chords. Now in the JJ Kale, it's more like that second section is. Whereas the Clapton, it just stays on that one, uh, on that four chord longer. Never goes to that E flat for that section. Another one on that. But either one is is totally cool. So uh, another thing that's kind of cool. The C blues scale or the C minor pentatonic. The only thing really being used and there's that cool signature lick in there which is the B string on the 11th fret and it's bent up to the root but then hit natural right when you get to it so it's like and then 11 on the high E a little nudgy nudge just down the scale. So I know I'm uh, giving you a lot of options, and, and I think those are all—they're all doable, and it depends on what situa situation you're in. For instance, you know, a full band—you don't want to play as many notes on your guitar, but if you're uh, doing a duo at a restaurant, uh, or even playing solo at a restaurant, you're going to want fuller chords. You're going to want bass notes in there. So I'm trying to cover those different elements. Like if I'm playing in a full band, like let's say two guitar players, keyboard player, bass player, drums, percussion, I'm not gonna be going You know what I mean? Depends on what the other guys are doing, but I might be like Hope you had fun with that. Uh, I do have those extra free blues lessons. You can check them out, link down there. Thank you for your support. I do really appreciate it. it. It drives me to give you guys more of these free lessons. It's really fun to hear back from you. So thank you. And we'll see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.